الله الرحمن الرحيم الأحد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد وأصلي وأسلم على النبي العظيم الذي بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الهمة اللهم أحينا على ملته وأمتنا على سنته وانفعنا يوم القيامة بشفاعته واحشرنا معه في زمرته وأصلي وأسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون Dear brothers and sisters in Islam It is my pleasure to welcome you today in our wonderful program Walking with Islam May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you bless me and bless everyone in this auspicious blessed and mubarak month the month of ramadan my brothers and sisters in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you me and everything to serve him as he has said in the quran وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ he has created the jinn and ins only to serve him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends us to serve him. And to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we need to have a good life, nice life, a brilliant and peaceful life. Hence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how can we have a good, a peaceful life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the month of Ramadan, he teaches us many things. Month of Ramadan is a university of spiritual education. He teaches us how to control, how to curb our desires to get all the good things that we desire. My brothers, Ramadan is a university of spiritual education. He teaches us how to control our desire, how to control our anger, how to deal with others. It teaches us how to share the pain of the people who has been suffering. My brothers and sisters, subhanallah, as Ramadan teaches us many things, it is almost impossible for us to describe and talk about all aspects and uh, issues of the Ramadan. So today, I will mainly focus one point, that how Ramadan teaches us to control our desire. We need to understand the desire is something that we need to curb and control it. If we cannot control our desire, the destruction is almost obvious. We have to face lots of dest destruction. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَاهُ وَأَضَلَّهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ وَخَتَمَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِهِ وَسَمْعِهِ وَبَصَرِهِ Allah Jalla wa Ala says, addressing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, أَفَرَأَيْتَ Heaven, have you seen, have you seen that a group of people who has rendered, who has considered their desire as their Lord, so they listen and they do whatever their desire tells them. The desire is so commanding every time they follow the desires. But let us talk about the rational and logical side of listening and obeying the desire. Is it, is it really logical to follow the desire? My brothers, just guess. Let me give you an example. A person who is standing next to a big, a massive ocean, he has a bucket in his hand and he wants to dry up the whole ocean and he's taking uh, buckets of water and he's thinking or planning to dry the entire this, uh, ocean. It is not possible actually. If you look at the person, you will see definitely the person has got some sort of problem because everyone knows it is impossible for him to dry a, a ocean by a bucket. So he's actually doing something that is totally 
impossible. A person who has good understanding cannot do that. Exactly our desire is something that can never be totally fulfilled. If you obey your desire, if you provide whatever it is demanding you today, then tomorrow you will see it is dem demanding something else again. Then the following day you will give something else and you see again it is demanding. So the demand of desire will never be fulfilled. Hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to take control over our desire. In the month of Ramadan, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man lam yada qawla zur wal amala bih. The person who doesn't stop qawla zur, speaking lies or falsehood, wal amala bihi, and acting upon falsehood, falaysa lillahi hajatun an yada tu'ab wa sharab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need him just to stop taking food and drinking water because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want somebody to be destroyed because of the lack of food. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want anybody to face dehydration. This is not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends from us. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends to have a good nice brilliant and peaceful life to have a good nice brilliant uh, and peaceful life what we need to do we need to have control over ourselves but because of various re reasons and materialistic uh, I mean material uh, issues or elements throughout the month throughout the year we get too much uh, involved and engrossed in material things sometimes we totally lose control over ourselves when the month of ramadan comes allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stops us he says look even though taking food taking drink is fully and totally allowed for you it is halal for you but this is the month of ramadan allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says i have prohibited all these things for for you throughout the daytime so that you can take control back over your desire against if we look at the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in a hadith which is mentioned in tabrani and authenticated by allama um, uh, it is authenticated by albani rahimahullah ta'ala anhu he also says the hadith is Sahih, where Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says Thalathun Muhlika There are three things that will destroy people's spiritual life Number one is Hawan Muttaba Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says The first is Shuhun muta, A sort of tightness or miserliness or you can say stinginess that is muta, Shuhun muta. Somebody is persistently entertaining his stinginess and secondly Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says Hawan Muttaba and his desire that is being followed persistently so look at this hadith Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says if somebody has a problem of stinginess he is, he, he is not generous he doesn't want to spend for others he always tight Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says this is one of the things that can destroy his spiritual strength and then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says Hawan Muttaba and desire that is being followed again and again persistently if somebody follows his desire again and again without any restriction without any moral values or uh, moral standards then that person one, one, one day he will be destroyed this is why Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala who kept on it and he says and he teaches us throughout the month of Ramadan to get control over it in a different hadith Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that while you are fasting if somebody wants to uh, to argue with you if somebody swears at you or if somebody wants to fight with you Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says just reply the person back nicely that in Nimru'um Saim I am fasting 
my brother or my sister i am fasting i cannot i cannot get involved in this unwanted thing with you so ramadan is a month that has been designed by the by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be trained to have control back over ourselves and over our desire so that we can lead our life in a nice way and we can do something for ourselves once we get a good life then it will be better for us to focus on the ibadah it will be uh, more supportive for us to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my brothers and sisters in islam it is known to everyone that a life that has absolute freedom that is not being controlled anyway is not a life it's a destruction especially i'm addressing my young brothers and sisters in this age normally we always want to have freedom we expect freedom of freedom in everything just think about it once you are driving you will see there is a red light it's a green light so when you see the red light it's a, it's a restriction for you you must stop here if you wish to cross the red light definitely you will crush you will hurt yourself you will hurt somebody else society will be troubled by you hence absolute freedom is something that will destroy your life destroy the entire society in the ramadan allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited prohibited many halal things and he says look you need to take control over your desire you need to train your desire so that the following month after ramadan you can have a good life you can choose between the right and between the wrong prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in a di different hadith that idha ghalaba prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says idha ghalaba al hawa ala al qalb when desire uh, overtakes somebody's heart prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the ar rajul inna ar rajul yastahsin ma kana yastaqbihu person starts loving things that he used to hate because he is totally uh, controlled by his his desire so he doesn't have actually a good choice a sort of profound understanding that can distinguish what is right and what is wrong hence in this month it is not only just stay away from food and drink rather we need to train ourselves every moment every second so that we can stay away from all sorts of evil and bad things as well as we need to reflect upon the teachings of the ramadan that can we actually keep ourselves away from bad things after the ramadan did we actually achieve the proper proper control over ourselves if somebody can have that control over himself he is definitely successful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in quran wa amma man khafa maqam rabbihi wa naha an-nafs 'anil hawa fa inna al-jannata hiya al-ma'wa subhanallah what a brilliant and wonderful wonderful verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains and he says wa amma man khafa maqam rabbihi person who fears standing before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maqama rabbihi wa naha an-nafs 'anil hawa and he stops himself from hawa from desire fa inna al-jannata hiya al-ma'wa janna is his destination he will be led to jannah by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my brothers and sisters when we can have full control over our desire it is the taqwa that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun o you who believe ramadan fasting in the month of ramadan has been prescribed for you as it had been prescribed for previous nations la'allakum tattaqun so that you can get gain taqwa 
So what is taqwa? Taqwa is an extreme love and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A love that will motivate you all the time to perform more and more good deeds. And a fear of Allah that will keep you and stay, uh, keep you away from all sorts of evil things. In a hadith, in a different hadith, which has been narrated from Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that somebody asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Prophet of Allah, can you share with us the, uh, the reason why most of the people will go to the Jannah? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, then aktharu ma yudkhilu nas al janna taqwa allahi jalla wa ala and then prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says wa husnul khuluq so aktharu ma yudkhilu nas al janna taqwa allahi jalla wa ala wa husnul khuluq that the most biggest reason that will lead the large number of people to jannah is taqwa allah the fear and love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa husnul khuluq and uh, good conduct and good manners to others to be nice and kind to others my brothers and sisters in Islam nowadays we see many of our brothers and sisters and most particularly the young brothers and sisters we see that the, the society where we living we see sometimes people getting groups and then they uh, having fights they having uh, causing problem to their societies why are they doing mostly if you ask them then you see the desire is playing a great role because they just want to do it they are gaining nothing from it it's if you have a fight with another group are you get going to get something no you are not get going to get something rather you are going to destroy your own career you are going to lose a nice a brilliant life so hence before we do something we need to understand that are we going to just follow our desire if we just merely follow our, our desire then just recall and remember one of the hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says thalathun muhlikat three things that will destroy you and one of these things is hawan muttaba desire that is being persistently followed that you have desire of doing something and you're persistently following it once after another though your parents is telling it is not good ulama scholars saying it is not good to do it but you still doing it remember you are going to follow a wrong way that will destroy your life destroy your spiritual life and that that will destroy the whole society entire society will be affected by you hence let us love ourselves love islam and love the teachings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love the teachings of prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and bear in mind one thing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you allah loves you that's why he has created everything and he has given you a beautiful body your eyes your nose your uh, your hands your mouth you can talk you can sm smell you have uh, brain you can understand think and plan my brothers you got good brain if you if you do not use it in right uh, for, for right reason then what is the point to have such a, a brilliant and wonderful brain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted you the brain so that you can understand just because of just because of desire we see many of our beloved brothers and sisters nowadays totally totally uh, addicted by drugs and other sorts of things cannabis drugs and they are addicted and because of these addiction they are daily losing their understanding destroying their own understanding power as they losing their career destroying their lives and their parents, their family, loved one, every everyone is being, being worried about them. Everyone is seriously worried about them, stressed because of them. My brothers, practice your faith. The more you practice your faith, the more you study the Quran and Sunnah, you will see.
said, see, you can easily, you can easily uh, secure yourself, secure your life, secure everyone's life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you and me and everyone tawfiq to practice our religion and to be a beneficial individual 